Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. The bonus cases! And Merry Christmas! Let's go ahead and take the escalator up, see what shenanigans we can get into with Dooley on Christmas Eve at the mall. It is surprisingly not crowded. Oh. That seems bad. What was that? Uh, screen shake. We'd better go and make sure Buzz is okay. I suppose. What's going on, Happy Elf? Uh, wh wh what was that? Not sure, but we're on the case. Oh. What the? What's going on here? Krampus, obviously. Christmas comes but once a year. But this time Krampus is here! You might think I'm going barmy, but I've come to make an army! I've turned these rotters into gnomes to send them back to terrorize their homes. <laughs> well, Dooley, uh, it seems that uh, Buzz is um, not well. Uh, I'm going to leave him to you now. Bye. I suppose I don't have that choice. Naughty, naughty little mole, hands off my stuff or I'll fill you with coal. I mean, activated charcoal is good if I accidentally uh, poison myself. Is that, is that what you mean? No, of course not. Stay away from my festive packets or I'll stuff you in a box and wrap it. That, that doesn't rhyme. You have anything to say about this, Dooley? Boy, Buzz sure is acting out today. Buzz Gnome. Buzz? <laughs> Me go and play and break some things. Uh-oh. What? Where'd Buzz go? We better find him. Gnome Guard. Stay away, big boss man. He don't like ki kids. What? You already see through my his disguise. No need to lie to you. Clever man. Know what's what. Now hop off. Merry Christmas, butts and ghouls! Let's mess this place and wreck these fools! Um, Krampus, uh, have you been spending a little bit of time in Nautica or something? Uh-oh. This uh, happy elf is now a gnome guard. For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth! This uh, seemed like that would be great. Anything to say about this, Dooley? Detective, don't lick that place. But you, that's still the same thing, huh? Alright, gnome child. Hey, stop throwing stuff at us. Nah, you visit St. Nick, then I throw a brick. Shame they is all fake. Well, that's disturbing. There's something on top of the fountain. We need to go higher for a closer look. Ain't saying the same thing. Do you have anything to say about this, Norman? Nope. Okay. Carl Gnome. All hail Krampus, the king of Christmas chaos! What happens if we go up the escalator? Ooh, tech stop. Tech store. TV screen. Ho ho ho! Merry Bimus! Don't forget to ask your parents for all the biggest toys this Christmas, children. No expense is too much if they love you. Dick Brickman. Brickman's Christmas Roundup, bringing you the top news and events of the past year. Oh, I love this show. I wonder if we'll get a mention. You do not. Aw, oh, no fair. It is no fair. Oh, my favorite TV show is on. That's the local bus times. And there's a lot to see and do around the city, Detective. You should hop on a random bus yourself someday. It's not wrong. This TV has a printout of a newsroom where the glass should be. Catamon! Catamon, Catamon, she will fight the cosmic star. 
Her claws are made from tears of moon, protecting daylight from Siguri 5. She pledges licks of fury. Foreign cartoons are odd. Ah, you just gotta learn to lean into the oddness is all. Open your heart to it. For love and affection? Imagine getting somebody a gift from an appliance store. <laughs> yeah. I just need to go back into tech stop for a second. What other features would you like to see? Can I look up the sports results, TM? Of course, just open this menu, scroll to here, type in all your personal data, and then ask your question. Using 32 characters or less, including spaces. Then your question is then sent through to the Encyclopedia Britannica headquarters, where a person looks it up and replies. There we go, sent. Now we just wait for the answer. Uh, this may take a few units of time. These are the same lamps we have in the station's interrogation cells. Also, it's lampy! We're still investigating video's crime against you, sir. Video did kill the radio star. Boombox? You shouldn't sell detonation equipment in a place like this. It, it doesn't go boom. These are just like the cameras we use to tell if an area is high crime or not. The ones that they wall mount and then count the number of days until someone steals them? The very same. Eh, whatever works. What about this vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I prefer to clean my vacuums by hand. Wow, it's so big you can almost see the pixels! I need to get your eyes checked a little bit, Dooley. I love this place. I wonder what new gadgets we can find to rig out the Popo po Moto with. Come on, Dooley, I just got the hang of using the police scanner. You're such a Luddite detective. True, I put the no in technology. Sports fan? Do you know the sports results, do you? All I want is to know the sports know how sports did this season. Where are my sports results, TM? They're, uh, they're on the way. I just gotta have a little, uh, patience. Oh, it doesn't seem to be anything, um, untoward going on in here. Can't go that way. We can go to the toy store. Teddy bear! I feel like that bear is staring right into my soul. It is. What about this, uh, purple dino? A friendly dinosaur? Clearly these guys weren't junior paleontologists like me. I'm trying to ascribe human traits to reptiles. Typically human-centric notions. No toy store is open. What about this train? A train with square wheels? Pfft, dumb. And the robot? These robots make great gifts. Hint. They're like little sidekicks. A, a demi-sidekick. Almost like a sidekick for your sidekick. Hint. Hint. I, I, I want one. Hint. For Christmas. Hint. Hint. The best thing about bringing Buzz shopping is that I have a reason to go into toy stores. But he's not here right now. Oh, yeah. Well, we can still go in, though, right? I mean, I suppose. A tea set. A tea set? I know, I'd love to sit for a cup, too, Dooley. But not until we fix all the weirdness here. I'm holding you to that. Do. A royal chair? Very fancy chair. Sturdy, too. Easy bake oven? I would have thought baking an oven was anything but easy. To start with, how would it fit in, fit in itself? Dooley. Tructicon! I know these toys. Buzz collects them. They're robots that turn into slightly different looking robots. Ah, uh, yes, I see. This one changes from a truck with a container into a truck without a container. The stuff of wonders. A cowboy. What a country this was way back when. When men were men and didn't take orders from stuffed teddy bears. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I, I know you only make me do these things for his punishment. For, for my own good, yes siree. What about this brontosaurus? An orange brontosaurus? 
Why don't you just give up, uh, give him a rocket pack if you're gonna make stuff up? Jeez. Dinosaurus Rex. Oh man, I love this guy. Undisputed king of the dinosaurs. And dinosaurs didn't even observe political hierarchies or dynasties. What about the spaceman? What a give to go into space, eh? The dark isolation of space. No kids, no toys, no lights. Limited supply of air. It seems like fun. What about this puzzle rectangle? A painfully colorful puzzle. Action figures! Leaders of the multiverse action figures. Only wears pants, man, and his arch nemesis skull for a face, but otherwise not a skeleton. Buzz would love these if they came with their fortress beige skull playset. Ooh, jump ropes. Ah, jump ropes. Trying to trick kids into exercising since man invented rope. Rope is always useful, so I'll grab some of this if you don't mind. <laughs> Me? Complain? No, not in front of the bear. No siree. You received jump rope. Sweet. I like the rope with handles at each end. Ah, it's always good to have toys. What about this teddy bear? <laughs> this guy tells me what to do, f and uh, folks, uh, let me tell you, it's it's not always pleasant. You have anything to say about uh, the the teddy bear dually? I've never seen a person smile that much while also crying. <laughs> I, I just love my job so much. The constant trill of children laughing, hearing the toys repeat the same stock phrases, the bear whispering dark thoughts into my ear. <laughs> it's a kind of paradise. A <laughs> kind of one. <laughs> Isn't Christmas great? Chirpy music all season. It's so many flashing lights I'm constantly disoriented. I can't recall the last time I saw daylight. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. It'll get better. It'll get better. Just a little longer. The buzz? What are you doing? Oh, I can't get the fire extinguisher? An impressive star. There he is! He's tried to reach the star from the tree. Ah, he's too far out to reach, Detective. Hmm, he's run out of the skylight. Maybe I can grab him from up on the roof. Fountain spray. That's an impressive... What's it called? Reach? Spray? Plumage? I, it, it's not a bird. The tree and fountain are below us, and in front of us. Let's head into Ned's gardening, as long as we're here. Stack of pots! Well, I won't lie, I thought I was buying something else at the time. In my defense, the nightclub is a strange place to sell pottery at 2 a.m. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Daisies aren't a fancy plant, that's for sure. But they're sturdy. Add a nice smell and color to a place. Can't go wrong with a daisy, no, sir. Daisy, daisy. Uh, unless, of course, you mean Daisy Miller. Girl broke my heart, that she did. Oh, we. I'll have my revenge one day, you mark my words. What? Um, n nothing, just flower talk. Oh, that's good. Ooh, wind chimes. Wind chimes, whittled by rare Tibetan metal pickers. Like woodpeckers, but for metal. And from Tibet. I'm not sure those are real, sir. Picked them up when I was hiking with Mildred. Of course, came home alone. She shacked up with a monk. Holy man, my eye. Seem to have a lot of problems with women, sir. Perfect for landscaping, bearing bad mistakes. What? Let me pretend I didn't hear that. These cacti don't look well. Weeping cacti, bred them myself. Well, that would be Jorge, right? Well, with Jorge, back in our horticultural days. I don't like to think about them. Such heartbreak. Guess it wasn't just uh, uh, women who broke your heart, huh? Gnome couple. Look at that happy couple. Power couple in the world of gnomes. Hmm. Does it remind you of anything? Hammer. A rubber hammer. The soft head means it's perfect for mildly smashing glass or knocking in tent pegs without bending them. Makes for a great camping mallet. Well, unless you come up against bears. Then the soft head will let you down. Sometimes at night I still hear Derek screams. Sir? You have li lived an interesting life, haven't you? Well, this might let me free Emily's brother. Mind if I take it, Ned? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. 
Sorry, got to reminiscing there. You received hammer! But is it MC Hammer? If I had a hammer, I had something in the morning, I had something in the evening, and all day long. I love that song, but I can never remember the words. Oh, the trowel. Child shovel or pocket spade, depending on your country of origin. He was part of a pair, but they were torn apart by economical differences. He's jealous of the penta, uh, the up top gnomes. Well, that's not going to get him anywhere, is it? Sir, I, uh, I think you, uh, you put a little bit too much thought into your gnomes. What about this watering can? Don't even ask about the watering can. That relationship still has me tender. What about this hose? That's secondhand, from my old car washing business. The fun John, Tanya, and I had that summer splashing one another unexpectedly. Then, of course, they run off with each other, and that was the end of that. You, uh... You seem to have some problems, sir. Now I went to school with Ned. Ned the Nerd, we called him. Well, hey there, Patrick. Nice to see you in the store again. More seeds for the Blood Wolves? Um, uh, uh, no, not, not today, thanks. Uh, we'll be by in spring for uh, bird feeder material. Uh, I've already put in the order. You and those kids really brighten my heart. Thanks, Ned. What? I've grown a lot since then. Ned's the name, gardening's my game. That and bridge. Can't beat an old four-way of a Thursday night. This is my shop, built from a lifetime of memories. Most good, some bad, but that's life, right? I, uh, I suppose so. Thanks for the hammer, at least. Alright, so, uh, let's see what we can do about, uh, getting Buzz after we visit the candy store! Oh, goody. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, a gentleman caller and here's me stuffing my face with cookie dough. I can get behind that. Don't stop on my account. Would you, uh, would you like some? No, no, thank you. McQueen, you're turning down cookie dough? What's wrong with you? Candyland, do we need do we need our passports to enter? It, it's it's not a foreign never mind. Hey Smithy, good to see you out and about, Brigadier. Are you too old chap after that run-in with old Jerry? I decided it was time to leave that hut and see what life here had in the colonies had to offer. What what? How are you finding it? Well, I joined this mall walking club, but all we do is stand around while Rose here gives Roger cookie dough and goo goo eyes. I need some real action, frontline stuff. You could come teach the Blood Wolves some survival tactics. Fight some wolves, you say? Count me in! Uh, uh not a. Uh, uh, never mind. Detective, I haven't seen you since you ruined my pre -re retirement party. Retirement? Pre-retirement, an early party in case you don't make it through those last few days. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. When I was your age, I was a maverick too. Don't let the rules get you down. Uh, speaking of rules, should you still have your sidearm? Yes, sir, rules out the window with them. That's my motto. But you're, you're gone. Like samurai, you and I following our own path, making our own way. Uh... No way! We have to go in! We have to! Look your horses. Alright, into the candy store. Ooh, cakes. Boys, don't touch them cakes. There's calories in dead ice and you don't need. That that doesn't seem like uh the best way to sell things. Having trouble getting your children sticky enough? Not if you give them candy flues, cotton candy mix. Gloop guaranteed. Just add water. Let's put its stickiness to the test. You received cotton candy mix. Excellent. Candy cane. One! No chance, that's like a nightstick for your teeth. Gotta keep those smiles fresh when they're... when you're in the paper for capturing bad guys. Mm, yeah, but Dooley doesn't get his picture taken very often. This is a wonderland. Candy heart. I love candy and I love to share it with the world. Except you. For your own good, of course. I'm so conflicted about this. Ooh, lollipops. Now, something like this is more your style. You can keep it in your pocket, take it out on break, and have a little lick, put it back for tomorrow. A lolly like that should last you a month if you control yourself. You can share one. A side each. You. 
On the other hand, uh, I could totally, uh, um, suck on one and be, uh, uh who loves you, baby? Mmm, not really Greek enough for it. Uh, jars of candy? So many types of candy, I want to try them all! Heavens no, not for you. Gotta keep you boys in blue nice and fit. Can't have crime able to r outrun you. But, fine. My, 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 two of TLPD's finest in my store. Woo-wee! For you, everything's on the house. Yes! Or at least it would be if I sold healthy foodstuffs. Can't have you two bastards of the law getting unfit on my watch. Oh, no. Aww. I know how you feel, Dooley. I know how you feel. On the upside, we got cotton candy mix. Oh, yeah. We just need to find some water. All right. Well, uh, next time, we will head to the cinema. See what's there. Also, Rose, I will take some of that cookie dough. Please, please share. I want some cookie dough. See you next time, everyone.